Hello Stampers, Joanne again at StampingInTheValley.com. Welcome to my craft room. I'm an independent demonstrator for Stampin' Up! and today we're going to be featuring our envelope board. Oh my goodness, I love this little board. Um, now you can make 66 sizes of envelopes with this one product. It's cost efficient, time efficient, it's just absolutely totally efficient for a crafter. Um, so I made, let me move that out of the way real quick, but I went ahead and made this little envelope and you can see I used the Wishing You stamp set, the Christmas stamp set. I love this stamp set. Um, and then I want today what I'm featuring for you all. A lot of my customers and friends have asked me how I want to attach the envelope in the back. How do you attach it? I've tried Velcro and then, you know, you kind of rip the paper. It's, you know, and you bend it. So here's what I came up with. Here's my little flower punch from our itty bitty collection. And then you just adhere it down, half of it, on the envelope, okay? And it makes a little tab to put the, um, the tip of the envelope in. And this way, then, you don't have to use any adhesive out here, and whomever that you give this to will always have it. This is the little card that I made to go with it, using, again, the Wishing You stamp set and my absolutely favorite colors from the Regal Stamp Collection. Um, my two little Christmas colors there, the green and the red. And again, I, I'm wild about this present, as you can see. Isn't this a cute little embellishment for a present, for a gift? And it comes directly from you, handmade. But, like I said, today I wanted to feature this little embellishment that I figured out how to do without marring the tip of your envelope. You know, a lot of times, like I said, we'll put um, Velcro there and as you lift it up, it's almost like the Velcro is too much for it. So that just slips right in there. So let's go ahead and start to make that. We'll move the, that out of the way and bring back in our envelope punch board, which comes with your scoring tool. Okay, today we're I'm also going to be featuring our Stampin' Up! the glue stick. Whenever I make an envelope, I either like to use Tombow or the glue stick. Um, gives you really, really, not that Snail is not great to give you solid adhesive, but it is an inline um, adhesive. These are more solid, so whenever I use uh, or make an envelope, I use either the glue stick or the Tombow. That's just my preference. Okay. Now, um, we're going to be making the 3x3 three three card here, and I've already pre-cut a piece of Whisper White at 5 and a quarter by 5 and a quarter, and we're going to score it at 2 and 5 eighths. Stampin' Up! could not make this any more user-friendly than what it is, um, because you have every dimension, and then there's also a, a card that comes with it that is metric. That, uh, you know, for dimension if that's the way you're going with that, but I live in Tennessee, so we're, you know, in the United States, so we use the inches, so um, go from here with the three by three, cut it five and a quarter by five and a quarter, we're going to score it at two and five eighths. This will be the only time with this envelope that you measure. You measure one time and then constantly score around uh, the square. So let's go ahead and do that two and five eighths, go ahead and line it up and hang in there with me, I'm doing this upside down. <laughs> okay, two and five eighths. Now, you always want to punch first. Punch, that's all it takes. And then bring your scoring tool in, and I'm gonna come from the bottom up because I am upside down and you are watching me that way, okay? So right, let me get in that groove right well, right there. Good. Okay, now I'm going to take this out. 
So yes, I already punched it. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and remove that and turn it. Now, we don't measure again. What you do is this score line that you've created, this little, <clears throat> this little mark right here that comes out of the punch board, this little projection, you line it straight away. Let's see what's holding me up here. Probably a paper stuck. I use this so much. I made a whole thing of. There we go. Okay. I made a, a little box that to hold all these little cards, which I'm going to do a tutorial on that also for you. So you do not measure. Forget your measurements after you measure that first time. You line up on that little mark, bring it out, okay, and again find your groove. And you'll go from the, let's see, I got off the line again, because I'm going backwards. You'll go from, there we go, from the top to the bottom, okay? You'll go from top to bottom, make a perfect score line. I'm just trying to do this upside down. So let's make sure that we punched it, perfect, and score. Turn it, and then put it exactly on that score line, okay? No measuring again. Punch and score. I'm trying not to get into the video so that you all can watch my hands. There we go. Perfect. Okay. And score. Okay. Now turn it and you know you do this on on all sides. Again, lining it up with the score line, and I'll take my punch. Do you remember when we used to make the envelopes and we had to um, go ahead and notch out? What this little uh, punch is doing is making the notch for us. It's that simple. So from there, now this is perfect because see, you're coming up on this line right here. Perfect. Perfect. And we're going to score. Right there. The other fantastic thing about this item is on the other side of the punch is a corner rounder. Now, you can elect to either uh, corner round every single one of them or just one, you know, where the flap goes in. I'm just going to do the one for now, but I think it's really, well, actually, it takes two seconds. Let's just punch them all. Just punch all four of them. How pretty is that? How quick and easy. And, and like I said, 66 um, sizes of envelopes. How wonderful. Step It Up is really on it this year for sure. Okay, now you're going to take um, your envelope and where the ditch is like that, you're going to fold it out. Okay, fold away. Your paper does not rip. So fold it, fold, fold. Then I take the bone folder that comes with the, the punch board, which is fantastic, and just go around all four sides. Okay? Now um, I'll go ahead and then uh, how I attach my envelope, open this up, and then right here, I'm going to put just a little bit of. I like to hold it up and just kind of get it right on that edge, okay? okay? And just attach it. And then we're going to bring this up, okay? And we're going to attach it here. So I'm going to take my glue and just run it right on the edge. See how nice and square this is? And you can just direct it right on the edge. Fantastic. Love the glue stick. Love, love. Okay. So, there you go. There's your there's your envelope. Sorry. Like I said, I'm still working upside down. There's your envelope made. Now, we want to go ahead and attach our embellishment. Okay. So, you know how I save every single piece of scrap. Look at this. I punched three, three circles. Okay, three two and a half circle punches out of this, but my corners are solid. So look, bring in your itty bitty punch, come here, punch. There's plenty, there's 
There's a million projects on this one little piece. Well, not a million, but you know what I'm saying. There's a lot of little projects on this one little piece. Save your paper. Okay. Itty bitty punch. Now, what I do is I hold this in my hand my, with my thumb, okay? And I take, bring in my glue stick. And I just flip the bottom. I want the glue stick because it's very, it is so solid and so permanent. Okay, so I just kind of rub it on half of it. Then I'm going to take this, bring in my envelope, and I put my tab down and I just put my little flower on the end of it. Okay, because there's nothing there. And then I just hold it. And now you've made your little flip for your envelope. Isn't that adorable? There's your little flip for your envelope. And you don't have to worry about any Velcro. Isn't that cute? You can use any of our itty bitty punches, or for that matter, most of our little punches um, for something like this, even if you wanted to make it bigger. You can put a label punch there and stamp a little sentiment on it. How cute. And of course then um, embellish the outside of your envelope any way you'd like. But today I wanted to show you how to make a closure for your envelope. Very, very simple. And with using the Wishing You Christmas Stamp Set. Go to my website and join my mailing list at stampinginthevalley.com or on the bottom of this video just click on that little box to subscribe to any and all videos that I make on YouTube are free. Thanks for watching and have a fantastic day.